Tonight, we are continuing to learn more information about the disappearance and the deaths of those missing teenagers. Our Michael Sandlin joining us now live in studio. He's been looking over the search warrants for the home of the two of the four charged with obstruction. And Michael, I understand this kind of paints a clearer picture of the hours before those kids went missing. Yeah, that's right, Jeff. These documents tell us the night of December 3rd, the teens were at Maumee Bay State Park, but were asked to leave after they were seen with a gun. Surveillance video then shows they went to the home of Carissa Eames and Corbin Gingrich, two of the four charged with obstruction. However, when questions that night, police say the suspects lied and said they hadn't seen the boys since the night of the first. This resulted in two members of the family being charged with obstruction and warranted a search of the home. Items collected as evidence include 11 rounds of ammunition, eight bags of suspected marijuana and associated paraphernalia, a DVR, and a piece of glass covered in possible blood found on the basement floor, one of the last known locations of one of the boys, based on video evidence. All of these items are now additional pieces in a case that includes felony assault, kidnapping, and now murder charges. We'll keep you updated on air and online as we continue to learn more. Reporting in studio, I'm Michael Sandler, WTOL 11.